Streets of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. That guy over there is Lieutenant Ari Slavinsky of the Indiana Borough Police Department joining us on a Tuesday morning. Our conversation is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. It has been a while. It has. Yeah. It has. How come? That must be your fault, not mine. No, I think you just didn't invite me. Is that what it is? I think so. <laughs> I, I don't think that... Uh... We've had you in here since the promotion, though, haven't we? I think no. we have. No? No. No? Well, then, belated congratulations. It's been a while since that. Yeah, back in November. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Does the job change much when you go from sergeant to lieutenant? Uh, the roles change. Yeah. Uh, I go into more of a supervisory role, uh, overlooking a lot more things, uh, like a management standpoint. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A little bit more hands-off on the road stuff, you mm-hmm. know, answering calls and that type of thing. Yeah. Do me a favor, grab that microphone and pull it a little closer to you there. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, so so Indiana Borough Police, um, of course, um, the 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 structure of the organization uh, is a really important thing, that whole command structure from Chief Shaw on down. Uh, but in, in the bottom line, it's all police work, isn't it? It is. It is. And it's just like a, uh, you know, any other business, any other nonprofit organization, you know, just set up a little different. Uh, but basically, you know, it's the same same yeah. thing. You need the you need the people that pull the strings, and you need the uh, the people on the strings, yeah. so to speak. So let's talk about. I, I know there have been some younger members who have joined in uh, in the past year or so, uh, and and working within the department uh, structure and and becoming a, a functioning part uh, of the of the organization. Um, I would think that would be a rather seamless affair, simply because uh, you're you're only hiring the best qualified people you can find, right? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, the majority of them, though, have have no police experience other than uh, police academy. Uh-huh. Uh, so you know, we get them fresh out of the academy. You know, we have to mold them into uh, how we want them to you know represent us. Mm-hmm. Um, other ones, you know, with we do have ones with previous police experience, and that helps as well. Yeah. So it all it all evens out. Sometimes, sometimes you find you have to unpolice them a little bit in order to police them up that, the way you want. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Got to dust off the bad habits and yeah, you know, structure them to to fit our our goals. Yeah, but those goals are are really important, and I know that you work hard on uh, establishing what those goals should be, refining them, revising them. Uh, where where need be as well. And sometimes those goals will change within the course of a given year. Here we are coming to the end of the IUP academic year uh, and moving on into summer. And and the role for Indiana Borough Police in the summertime might be a little bit different than it is in the winter. Uh, It's a little different. Our focus is a little different. uh, But we still, I mean, Chief Shaw preaches it, peace, safety, comfort. uh, And that's what we stand our department to do so regardless of IUP or locals uh, our mission stays the same yeah you know it's just to focus on where our attention needs to be uh, at that time yeah as we get to the summer months um, I know there are great challenges uh, that are always happening one of the interesting things to me is uh, next hour we're going to have the folks in from Indiana County abate and we're going to talk about motorcycle safety Uh, and we think of Police work uh, being, you know, two-faced, um, uh, traffic uh, and, and crime. It's it's a little bit more uh, defined than that. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about traffic safety as we get to these summer months. You know, there's that's, kids on bicycles. There's yes, that's, motorcycles that's a big important important thing, especially in, in Indiana Borough. Uh, it's a small community. Uh, lots of people ride bikes, kids especially, uh, out walking around on sidewalks downtown and so forth. Yeah. Um, different intersections, you know, uh, try to urge uh, drivers to be just be more cautious, you know, be aware and alert because uh, you might have a bicyclist crossing, you know, crossing the intersection yeah. at the time you're pulling up to it. You know, so it's uh, uh, very important, you know, but like it's like you said, especially during the summer months, more people were out and about. Yeah. And especially, you know, sometimes you'll see that bicycle going with the, the towel behind it as they're riding off to Mac Park Pool. And, you know, those kids are excited <laughs> to get there. 
uh, and and in that excitement, they might uh, they might not follow all of the rules at intersections. So we have to watch out for them, especially youngsters. That's right. That's right. We need the the warm weather though first. <laughs> <laughs> not going to be seeing too much with the weather we've been getting. Yeah, rumor has it that one day we might see a little <laughs> bit of sunshine and and uh, get some get some warmer weather. But uh, you know, bicycle safety, motorcycle safety, uh, safety. Even people who've been driving for decades, you fall into bad habits or, or a little bit lazy habits, and you can find yourself in a world of trouble right away. Yep, that's that's so true. Uh, and I like to use the term complacent. Uh, that falls follows me through, you know, our job as well. But mm-hmm. uh, that can be, you know, looked at all different kinds of ways. You know, driving, you yeah. know, in your personal life or whatever. Just you know, going through the uh, routine, and you know, not not being alert. We're talking with Lieutenant Eric Slavinsky, Indiana Borough Police Department. Will there be a uh, bike to school day this year? Uh, it's supposed to be in May. Uh, sometime May is the bike school yeah. month. Um, I haven't ha- heard word on the date yet, but it'll be sometime in mid mid to end of oh, May. Yeah, it'll be surfacing soon, and we'll, we'll get the information on that. And uh, that's when kids bike to school when uh, others join them, including Indiana Borough Police. That's escorts. correct. That's and, correct. Yeah. Um, the, you know, when you figure it out, uh, summertime months are so, so interesting because there are festivals, uh, there are events, um, and, and all kinds of, of wonderful things that draw people into town. Sometimes those people don't have the best intentions, but most folks do. That's true. Uh, That's and, true. and to know that Indiana Borough Police have that presence out there, just to make sure that the community is safe, it's a pretty important thing. Yeah, and I hope that now that things are loosening up with COVID, I think that, you know, having car shows and, you know, downtown events uh, will happen more this, this summer coming. Yeah. Uh, like you said, to bring in more crowds and more people, uh, you know, for our businesses and, you know, everything else. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. So what else is going on uh, for you and for the department right lately and, and in the coming weeks? Uh, it's pol- policy changes, uh, some things we had to – Fine tune, uh, trying to get our, well, like you said, the the um, the bicycle program back up and running. Mm-hmm. Uh, I passed the reins off to uh, Officer Mike Clausen. Uh, so if you see him out and about on a bicycle, give him a give him a wave. Um, you probably won't see me out that much anymore. You uh, still have the bike back. Still have the bike. Still have the uniform. So it's a possibility. <laughs> You never know. Yeah, you, n- you never know. But but the bike patrols are are pretty important things as well. And we'll see more officers on foot through the summer months as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And we spend uh we spend a lot of time at the the little league fields, mm. uh, mm-hmm. and then our comfort canine Axel and Sergeant Hogue, uh, they try to get into the schools and in downtown sure. as well. And I mean that's we're getting we're getting a lot of positive. Uh, feedback from from that yeah yeah well that's just a terrific program all around yeah it it uh it definitely increases morale when i'm sitting in my office and you know he comes in wagging his tail knocking stuff over (laughs) (laughs) isn't it amazing how quickly it happens though it's instantaneous yeah yep when when a dog comes in and and you even if you just hear it panting a little bit then all of a sudden and uh, the mood changes, everything changes. That's that's so true, that's, so true. And that's what it's all about. Of course, uh, in the summertime months, uh, we mentioned the traffic. Uh, uh, and, and every once in a while, I like to ask Chief Shaw this, and, and he's explained it as well. Uh, there's a series of uh, public service announcements going along uh, right now about what to do if you get involved uh, with a police incident and uh, police pull you over for a traffic incident or pull you, uh, uh, ask you uh, for information um, just in general as you're out there in public. Uh, and its emphasis is just do what they tell you to do. And, and in the end, you can work it out if it needs to be uh, mediated or it ends up in court. That's fine. Uh, but um, do your best to diffuse any possible situation that could turn into something major. That's and that that's. That's also very true, and it's a point that needs to be get across, you know, to get across to everybody. Um, even if you know you disagree with a traffic citation you received or, you know, uh, a non-traffic citation, uh, arguing with the police never is never a good idea. Uh, that's why we have judges. That's why they get paid uh, to determine if you're guilty or not. So uh, that's the time to. Uh, 
argue your case, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Just treat with respect and, and everything will that, be. That's it. And I have faith that all of our officers now, uh, they, they're they doing a great job with, with respect and, you know, mm-hmm. treating the, the community uh, more of a partnership than – you know, us against them type I, deal. I would assume that there's a continual training process for that, refresher courses and uh, just reminders uh, for officers about uh, how to conduct themselves in public. Uh, maybe the public needs to have a few refresher <laughs> courses as well. I could probably think of a couple. Of <laughs> <laughs> but no, we, we, we have continual training. Uh, we also do online training whenever we can't get to in-person. Mm-hmm. So uh, every officer does uh, at least one or two trainings a month online oh, yeah. and that that can go from you know a half hour class to an eight hour class uh and i mean you name it there's a class for it you know and it's it's uh definitely good to to expand on your knowledge and uh learn as much as you can you know i'm sure i learn every day you know so yeah that's that's the right approach uh, and is uh, is to teach yourself and uh, train yourself uh, for every situation. It's one of the big things that we always say. You know, we're, we talk about prayer uh, and prayer life, and we say pray on the little days because that when the big days will come along, then you're used to it. That's it. That's <laughs> and, it. That's and that it. that really translates to training for police as well. Uh, you know, train for the little things. When the big things come along, then uh, that, that's it. And if you don't if you don't train for it, then you're not going to be prepared. Yeah. You know, so that's my, you know, that's a big focus that I have is, is training for our guys. And, you know, we continually push, push our guys to go, you know, to as much trainings as possible. Absolutely. He is Lieutenant uh, Eric Slavinsky with us here this morning, Indiana Borough Police Department. Thanks for coming over. Oh, I appreciate the invite. Finally, you, you think of uh, finally, oh, <laughs> threw the word finally in there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Blame Shaw. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he, I almost wanted to apologize because, because I, kind of took his place today uh-huh. and uh you know maybe i wasn't going to be as as uh good of a interviewer <laughs> as he is you know it's <laughs> yeah it did great but too bad you got stuck with me <laughs> <laughs> i think you did quite well uh, quite well as indeed thanks eric for coming always a pleasure